it is three minutes to nine. I left the house twenty-five past seven. Been out more than an hour and a half just to drop the baby off at nursery. It's freezing out there. Um, the metro, like our light rail system from my station to um, where Anna's nursery is has been down for the last three months and it got overrun by two weeks. So we've been using the bus and the bus was fine, it's great. So yesterday the metro started again in that direction. Um, so I thought, oh great, we can we can get the metro and it's it's quicker than the bus. The bus was fine, but it's quicker than the bus and um Anna likes the metro, likes to get on the train. Um so we got we got there at half past seven, maybe like twenty-five to eight. No metros. <sighs> well, a broken down metro further up the track. So we sat on a freezing cold platform for over half an hour. Thankfully, one of the um, the nursery teachers um, gets on that train as well. So. Uh, we were waiting together so she helped entertain Anna because Anna was very cold I can't feel my toes so I dropped Anna off at nursery like half an hour later than I would normally and then had to wait for the train back which of course was delayed as well so I spent another 20 odd minutes on another platform and it started snowing again. It started snowing on the platform. Um, it's snowing again. So I've only just gone home and it's nine o'clock and normally I would be like well into my work by now, but I can't feel my toes. Um, so I'm going to make a cup of tea and try and get warm because I can't think when I'm cold. I can literally feel the, uh, the warmth leaving my head. Oh my God. I hate public transport. It's a blessing. It is. We're very lucky, but when things go wrong on this system, they go very wrong. And what would seem like an obvious solution is not the solution they they take. It is the joy of the northeast of England. <sighs> okay. setting up to film here and there's a massive cloud coming in so I think it's gonna snow so bear with me
<sighs> Hello, floss tube. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, if that's okay with you. Um. Yeah, this like, I we had lovely light, and then this massive cloud is rolling in. And it's gonna take my light and it's gonna start snowing again. Neither of which I'm very happy about. Because if it was good snow, like we'd be snowed in and Alex would stay home and the baby could stay home and we could like have a nice little snow day. Maybe do some work in between, but mostly snow day but this is just it's an ice rink out there down the paths down the roads it's not nice it i was out for an hour and a half this morning taking the baby to nursery and it should normally take me like 30 minutes top Oh, I've just found my hooks. But this is just gonna snow a bit and then it's gonna ice tonight. And I don't wanna go get the baby. If I wanna go get the baby, but I don't wanna go on on the metro if it's gonna be like this tonight. And I'm cold. I've had a midday bath to try and warm me up. My skin's really sensitive because of the cold. Merry Flossmas. <sighs> anyway, we'll see if the snow comes in, but at the minute it's not snowing. So, this is my day five from the advent, in my tea advent calendar, it's called Pancake Stack. Definitely smells like Pancake Stack. I haven't put any milk in because I think that's the issue that I've I had with the chocolate cake one. No, it's like I can smell the sweetness, but then it just tastes bitter when it's just black tea. Maybe I should put some milk in. Maybe I've stewed it for too long now. I didn't stew the other one for long enough. Maybe this one's too stewed. I don't know. I was thinking about it probably next year. I'll just get <sighs> different. Did I, did I say this already? I said it in my head, I don't know whether I said it out loud. Like different English breakfast, Irish breakfast, Scottish breakfast, different brands and just get Alex to kind of mix them up and then have one of those every day. Not these like flavoured. Because I would rather just have a cup of tea with some pancakes than drink that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some stitching because this is what this channel is about, should be about. Um, if you're new, hi, I'm Helen. <laughs> I'm the Diddy Stitcher. My pronouns are she, her. Um, I just lost my needle. Oh well. So I was stitching. Oh stitching this last night, Mill Hill Petri Partridge. Um, and I had a nasty cough last night, so I was trying to do stuff between running back upstairs and sorting her out and, and actually wanting to stitch. That's why I'm like mid, mid thread here. God, I look awful. Sorry. 
Um, so yeah, really liking this one. It's got three different colours of the petites and then just one of the like regular beads. So those yellow beads are the regular ones. I don't know if you say regular. But then it's got three different petites and normally it's maybe like two petites and two normals. Um, so that's been quite nice because it makes it look a bit more delicate. And then these yellow ones, they're like clear on the outside but as if they're painted inside. So they look like they're kind of coated. Which is really pretty. I really like that. Please ignore my nails. I'm, I'm just dry everywhere. Apart from my hair, my hair is really greasy. So I've washed it again for the second time this week and normally I don't, I just wash once a week. I don't know whether it's my shampoo or because it's so cold. My hair's drying out and my scalp's trying to make up for the fact. Anyway, that was the bit of stitching that I've done. And I'm really, I really want to do some stitching today actually. I really just want to sit and stitch, but I've got so much work to do, I don't think I'm going to get a chance. I'm really looking forward to finishing work and having some proper time off to properly stitch and kind of get going again with it. Like I lost my bug for a minute there and it's come back, but I haven't had a chance to exercise it. I think that's where I'm at right now. So, we will open some advent calendars. Day 15 of the Patchwork Rabbit. It's getting darker, can you tell? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, another pattern. More rabbits. Marie Didonna. Manny. Manny Didonna. Merry Rabbits, Christmas 2022. Charted in DMCs. There's a lot of backstitch in there as well. Um... Innocent Bones, day 15. Oh, wow. Milk and pink Himalayan salt vegan chocolate. Raw Halo. Milk with like M Y L K. That's why I said milk. Milk and pink Himalayan salt. Oh, I'm looking forward to dairy free, gluten free, 100% natural. Raw Halo Limited of London. I'm looking forward to trying that. Mmm. Maple musky. I think I've officially lost all light now. Walt's office. This is like coffee and tobacco. And I really like this one. I think Alex finds it a bit overpowering. Which is I have to maybe put it in the on the landing so it dissipates in, through the house more than rather than just in one room. very warming. Tobacco and leather I think it's, if I remember from that, from on the line. Lovely. And now I nap. 
It's now half past 12 and I've been sat here scrolling on my phone because ADHD. Um, and I just wanted to update you that it is now snowing. No. <sighs> it's getting quite bad now and we weren't forecast for this. So with this bit of grass here turns completely white, I think we're in trouble.